Now, you all know how much I like reviewing microphones because I've reviewed a lot on this channel, everywhere from like cheap five, 10 pound microphones all the way up to, I did one recently which was regarding about a 250 pound microphone. So it definitely varies between the prices going from very low to very high, depending on the user's actually use. But a company got in touch with me from a company called Comica, I think I'm pronouncing that properly, and this is a protest, and they, <laughs> they've sent over a microphone for professional audio equipment. So that's pretty much what we're looking at today. This is the STA-U1 professional microphone. So guys, this is what we are looking at. This is the Comica STA-U1 cardioid condenser USB microphone with also RGB lights as well. So what we're gonna do is break this down, get it unboxed, see what we're working with, and then of course we'll talk about the microphone and then go straight into an audio test to see roughly what this guy can offer and how it sounds. So let's get this unboxed, see what we get, and we'll go from there. So just before we do, I have to say, presentation-wise, I enjoy it. Everything is where it needs to be. The pack and foam is actually extremely hard and dense, so you know fine well this is going to be protected in transport no matter where it's going. So definitely thumbs up from me. Right, I'll get the rest out and we'll go from there. So this is all we get. Silica gel, do not eat this bloody stuff, swear to God. We do get a little, I think this is a USB to USB Type-C converter. Yep, yes it is. So we do get a USB, oh, where my camera wants to focus, USB to USB Type-C converter because not all devices have the availability for USB Type-C. Some people might have some like older devices, etc. And then of course we do get a USB Type-C to USB Type-C connector going on here, as we can see right there. USB to USB Type-C. If that doesn't going to work for your device, you can just grab your little connector there, plug that in straight like that, and then you're back to USB to USB Type-C, which is a lot easier. Now we do get... Oh, is that a sticker? Does that mean? Nope, I thought that was a sticker. I thought it was going to end up on the sticker wall. So we do get a little certification card here. We do get a warranty card, as well as an instruction manual. We're going to tell you everything you need to know about the device, everything about how to get it connected, plug and play, how all the different adapters work. It shows you all the devices you can use this with. As we can see, we've got some phones, tablets, laptops, and you are pretty much good to go. Now, we have the microphone and the stand. Now... <laughs> Well, shall I say base. The base itself is extremely heavy. I don't know exactly how much weight. I'll probably find out. But the base itself is very heavy. You've got to think, if this is going to be sat on there and you want this slightly tilted, you don't want it always falling over. So that is a solid base. We have a screw thread going on here, which is going to connect to the bottom of the microphone, as well as rubber adhesive padding going across all the, around the back. So no matter where this is actually sat, it's not going to wobble around. It's not going to move. But most of all, it's not going to damage the area it's actually sat on. On the other hand, the microphone. The microphone itself is extremely light. But like I said, this obviously is a condenser microphone. It's obviously the shape itself I've yet to see. Normally they're round, more bulky, all that good stuff. So definitely a first for me, but I like the design. So we do have the Comica logo going on there. And we do have silver meshing as well as their logo. And on the back, we do have more silver meshing. So this is going to protect any frequency or anything that could interfere with a microphone with it being next to electronic devices. So very nice to see. So we do have a mute button as well, on off mute, as well as the volume control rocker, which is right there, which is pretty cool. On the opposite side here, we do have the cardio condenser USB mic, STA-U1. We have a headphone jack going in. So this is going to allow you to monitor your own voice coming through the microphone. And then we also have a USB type C port. That's going to be your main power. Now, this is already fitted onto a bracket itself, which obviously can be removed if you need it to be. Obviously, you don't really need it to be for this type of microphone. But then again, it's all personal preference. Now, screw the base on very simply like that. That sits down like that. Boom, you are good to go. <laughs> right, I'm going to get this powered up, uh, see what this RGB light is all about. And then what we're going to do is actually go into actually testing this guy out. So I've just knocked the lights up there just so we can kind of see this. As we can see, we do have power. And then we do have quite a faint little light there, which is currently blue. If I click it, it does turn red. You can't see it very well. I definitely have to say it is very, a very shallow one. But the only good thing is, obviously, with the volume rocker. At the moment, it is at mil, at nil, shall I say. As I'm turning those up, we can see the volume rocker itself is actually starting to change colour, which is actually really cool. So, obviously, at the moment, you can see my volume is turned up, and you can actually see that it's actually picking up my voice. Obviously, the louder I get... If I mute it, obviously it's not going to pick up anything. 
if I click that off again, as you can see, it is actually registering my voice. So this is quite a good little indication. So if you're using the lights of uh, OBS Studio, oh, no, I'm just going to turn the lights back on. If you're using the likes of like an OBS Studio and you don't want to keep an eye on how loud your voice is going, you don't want to make sure that you're not hitting the right types of volumes, like sometimes on some of my P's, I'm getting close to the red area here, which you don't want. Instead of looking through OBS Studio, checking midstream and all that, you can keep an eye on your microphone and actually make sure you're not going at a certain um, depth in your voice, your voice isn't too loud. Say you don't have the utilization to monitor your own voice because you're trying to listen to your gameplay. We have the availability here so we can check to make sure we are at a neutral position where our voice isn't going to be so loud. So that I do like. Right, what we need to do is get this plugged in properly and do, a, um, do an audio test and we'll pretty much go from there. Okay guys, so we have the Comica condenser microphone all plugged in now. It's currently muted at the moment so we can't hear anything. I am going to move this in front of me in just a second to talk through it to roughly show you what it's like. Uh, currently we're using the microphone that I'm on now, I'm not going to bother going from the name because it's not a comparison. This is more just a little bit of an introduction to say like this is the one we're reviewing. So obviously as we can tell we're using this one, not using that one, we're using this one. Nice bit of cheeky ASMR for you there. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mute this microphone and actually swap over to the Comica. So give me one second. Okay, so this is the microphone we're using now. This is the Comica as we can hear, sorry for the noise. So currently at the moment we have it at the volume between 50, about 50% 50 I'd rather say. I haven't done any tweaking or anything. This is fresh out the box. I've added it straight into OBS Studio just as an audio input device. I haven't changed anything else. I have it unmuted. I'm not using this microphone obviously as we can see it is unplugged. Someone did drop a comment saying that I was trying to use my better microphone uh, on some of my other videos. So just to prove that it is unplugged so we're not using that one. We're definitely using the Comica. This is the condenser microphone. So you guys watching this, you can let me know how you feel. Um, this actually did represent itself. Like I said, I've got it about 50%. Obviously, it's unmuted. I have the full maneuverability of it to actually mess around with it and utilize it how I want. So if I'm sat at a certain angle, I'm sat quite low, but the table's quite high. Obviously, depending where you would want the microphone to go. But like I said, if you are predominantly a gamer and you obviously a PC gamer and you don't like microphones on boom arms, you just want them on simple stands in front of you, you can have this tilted in a way where it's like sat near your chest and under so you're gaming around it. So you don't have to worry about it. It sits quite obviously low, but never mind my table. And you can just carry on gaming, not have a worry in the world, not have a care in the world, don't even realize it's there, but still have good communication with your chat, with your videos or the guys on the other end of the game. And it really is simple and I do like it. I do like the all metal design. You've got simple metal design as well as the Comica logos that are on there. I like how they've went from black to silver on the meshing. Gives it a little bit more of a rustic feel. I do like it. I enjoy it. And why don't you guys at home let me know how the audio quality test did go. And that's pretty much that. So thanks very much for watching guys. Obviously if you decide to go grab one make sure you check the links in the video description as always. Cheers. So guys there we go. That was the video recording. The Comica microphone, the professional one, and I have to admit, out of all the microphones I've ever reviewed, this one is 100% unique. I've never reviewed a microphone of this stature and size and actual pure weight as well. It is quite a heavy microphone, which isn't a bad thing. It is actually quite a good thing for the way it's got set up. Um, I do like it, though. It's definitely different compared to, you know, some of the, like, the XLR microphones I've got. Like, I'm currently running on at the moment, which is incredible also. But all microphones do... Don't all do the exact same things, but they all roughly, you know, do the same job. Uh, but I have to admit, overall, it did actually um, perform very well. We did the audio test. It wasn't a comparison. It was just a simple audio test to pretty much show you how this guy works with zero filters or anything on it whatsoever. Uh, that's pretty much what I was getting at. I didn't want to add any filters because, you know, you can add filters to pretty much anything. I wanted to go stock audio from the USB. Uh, USB Type-C. I did put my headphones in as well so I can monitor my audio and my voice, which was really cool. But I have to admit, all round, an absolute brilliant microphone. So as always, go check the links in the description. There'll be a link there so you can go check them out for yourself. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on every videos. And I hope you have a great day.